Okay, so what to do when you have equations um, with variables on both sides. So what you have to do is you have to, let me write this here, collect all variables that you're solving for on one side, okay? So we're gonna do that really quickly here. And my advice is to always move the lesser. So, and that just means I'm not gonna end up with a negative coefficient for it. So I have a choice, I can move this 9x or I can move 3x, I'm gonna move 3x. So what that means, I gotta think, how is 3x connected to two, okay? So how is that connected to two? And I realize that that is connected by addition. And so if I wanna reverse the equation, I'm going to subtract, but instead of subtracting two, because that'll move the two, this time I'm gonna move the three x. And then to keep things balanced, I'm gonna subtract three x from this side. And then when I'm done, I have nine x minus three x, that's six x minus 10. And I simplify here, the little cancel, and so that'll be equal to two. Well, and then I just repeat that process. What's happening to six x? Well, I have multiply, and then I'm adding a negative 10, right? So that's adding a negative 10. And then I wanna do the reverse operation. So the reverse, and reverse orders, before I undo the multiply, I'm gonna undo the adding. So I would add a positive 10, that's the reverse of adding negative 10. So I add a positive 10, okay? And I end up with, um, after I simplify, and I, oh, I sorry, I didn't point it out, but that's, you know, right here's where I kept it balanced, and that's what I kept it balanced over there, right? So adding 10 was keeping it balanced. And now we're gonna just simplify this, and those guys are gonna cancel, two plus 10 is 12, and then that's equal to six X. And then just to finish this guy, we say one more time, we just keep repeating this, six X, that is multiply, I'm going to um, reverse it by dividing by six, and I'm gonna keep it balanced by dividing both sides by six, and then I'm going to simplify. So that leaves me with x, and 12 divided by six is two. So my answer is x equals two. Oops, and I'm gonna just put that in and get one more problem. And on the next problem, I'm gonna use my technology to solve it. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that and see if this will work. Let's go to my calculator here. And if I type a solve command, control V, and put comma X, that was an 8X times negative three. This is a little trick there. I gotta be careful when I copied that because it was 8X minus three, right? 8X minus three right here, if you look, 8X minus three, but it copied over 8x times negative three. Thought that was a negative sign. And that's not the same thing, 8x times negative three. So I've gotta be careful, it's 8x minus three. Equals four x plus four. And I put comma x, because that's what I'm solving for. And I hit enter. So that's seven fourths, okay? So you can do them by hand if you're wanting to become very good with your calculation skills. Or if you wanna solve these using your technology, that's great too, okay? You can use it either way.